What's going on, everybody? So from the title, you'll be able to obviously tell I am doing a video on the Astro Pneumatic Nano Sockets. I have the 3 8 set. I do plan on getting the half inch set, but I'm not gonna do another video on those. Uh, I don't think it's worth it. I might, like, when I, after I use these and then get the half inch set and use them for a while, I will do a follow-up video, and I'll probably include both in that video. Uh, but I thought, you know, I got these today, this morning, actually, uh, and I had to do a video because they're actually really cool. <clears throat> Excuse me. And uh, I thought, why not jump on here and do a video and then kind of show you a comparison of, like, what a normal shallow 3 8 looks like. Uh, from Snap-on and then what size difference these are. So I'll get these, the, it's missing the eight and the 24 because I have those out on the cart to show you guys the size difference. Um, but these are six millimeter to 24 millimeter, no skips, which is awesome. I, I honestly hate the fact that companies make socket sets that skip because nowadays, unless you're particularly working on one make and model vehicle all the time and never intend to work on anything else, you're gonna need different sizes. So. If any tool company someday ever watch this, please just make socket sets with no skips, all of them. Just same with wrenches, all of it, no skips on any of them. So yeah, just a little side note. Uh, so here's the size difference between the two. So um, try to get you guys a little better idea. So there's quite a bit difference. So if you're not in the automotive industry and you're in another industry and you find yourself watching this video, you may think, well, it's not a huge difference. Um, it's, it's just a little over a quarter inch difference, size difference, depth wise. Um, but there are times where you need that extra quarter inch to be able to fit in a certain spot. Um, and stuff like this, it's not something you may use every single day, but I promise when you need it, it's amazing and it helps get that job done way faster uh, and better. So. What's really cool about these, something that you may not know between, between like a normal socket, because obviously this one's shaped a lot different, is right here. So every single one of these is a 17 millimeter on the bottom. So you can actually put a wrench on it. Sorry. Look at that. How sweet is that? That is awesome. So you, they, all of them, every single one's like that. So that is the 24 millimeter. I'm gonna do the eight because it's the one I got out. But there's the eight millimeter. So I thought that was super cool. That's gonna come in handy too as well. Like I said, in those certain cases or certain instances, that is gonna be a lifesaver. So here's the eights next to each other. It's not a huge difference on the eights as much as the, um, as much as the, it's hard to tell, sorry as much as the 24, but it's still more shallow. So you do have that extra little space and like I said, still have the 17. So yeah, so that, that is really cool. Um, I actually already used them today. I've been using them all day today. Um, so far, so good. I've been impacting with them uh, with the Milwaukee Gen 3 fuel. Um, so I've been using that and then they've been on my Snap-on uh, 3.8 ratchet as well, long neck ratchet. So using them to break bolts loose, uh, impacting with the other one. So no issues, no problems. Obviously it's the first day. And like I said in the beginning of the video, my plan is to do a video down the road after I've used them for a while to see if they hold up. Same with the half inch. I'll, I'll, I'll buy those and then include those in a video down the road. Um, also it does come with the socket set, or I mean the, uh, Gosh, the tray, I thought that was really cool and I'm not sure if I mentioned that in the beginning of the video, but <clears throat> it does come with the socket tray, which is really cool as well. Um, so if you you know don't wanna worry about that, it's nice to know that it comes with that. So yeah, aside from that, that's it. I, I was gonna measure them, but honestly, what's the point? You can see the difference in the video, hopefully, um, and you can see the benefits of buying them. Uh, so as of the, a couple days ago when I looked at them, in the time of this video, the cheapest I could find them was around $45, $46, and the most expensive I found them was for $65. Honestly, that's super cheap. So if they even hold up for a year, uh, and then I have to warranty some out of, I, I'm super happy with that. Now, if I'm breaking them every week, then I, I'm it's not really worth it. I will set them aside and I won't use them very much. I'll warranty them out, and, and you know, obviously they'll probably sit in my drawer for, uh, a long time and I just will rarely use them because I don't want to have to worry about breaking sockets all the time. 
But like I said, I was impacted on them today and I was not easy on them and had no issues. Um, there's definitely a difference in the metal. It's probably a cheap uh, Chinese metal or something. You know, I'm sure they're not made in America as that cheap. Uh, it's almost impossible. But if Astro Pneumatic, you ever see this and you guys wanna make a more expensive set with a stronger metal, um, I'd be interested. I, I mean, I sockets are important and we use them every day in this industry. So I've got no problem, but let me know what you guys think. Are you, would you be willing to pay more? Honestly, socket sets, even from the big uh, truck manufacturers, the tool truck manufacturers, Snap-on, Cornwall, Matco, Mac, um, you know, those socket sets are expensive. They're not cheap at all. So um, I'd definitely be willing to pay upwards of two, $250 for a set like this. Uh, if they're if they could make them with a stronger metal that's gonna hold up that you really never have to worry about It's extremely rare that I break a snap-on socket. So um, Anyway, so hopefully that video helps you guys Hopefully it gives you some information and if you guys have any questions feel free to leave them in the comments below Let me know what you think. Let me know if you like them if they're gonna help uh, in your tool set um, and if you like these videos, please feel free to like and subscribe. Um, I know they're not edited. As time goes on, I do plan on uh, editing the videos as of right now. I'm still uploading them uh, just raw and uncut. So hopefully that's cool with you guys. I appreciate all my subscribers. Uh, it's, it's awesome. You guys are seriously amazing. Uh, so I appreciate it. Awesome. Thanks, guys. Have a great week.